Hello and welcome back to another certified OG Chefing video. In the last couple of months you saw that I already bought an M5 E60 which I took to the dunes and I later flipped off a forklift by accident. This time we're coming back to the US to finally fix my M5 E60 and get it running properly hopefully. The thing is we only have one week to do everything including the roof, including the engine and including all the dented bodywork. And to make things even worse there was a huge hurricane coming towards South Carolina. But let's start from the beginning. We are somewhere here in Munich at the airport. In Dolla, innocent. The wissen wo wir hier ist, oder? We are on the way to America once again to finish what we started to finish the M5 E60. We have some very interesting days ahead of us. First things first, we have to get to South Carolina. We have to get to Sean. Plan for the day is get into the airplane, fly somewhere to Atlanta. We're landing in Atlanta. And then we have to drive four hours to Charleston and then, yeah, I don't know. A bit tired, very motivated. Yeah, the first time we're going to speak with Gabriel, officially. We have not even heard him. We have not even heard him. We have not even heard him. We So, it's good, you know, it's good for us. It's a must for every club. On the fifth and the John. Yeah, we have there, guys. We can't even hear him. Yeah. I'm pretty much alone here in the very back of the airplane. I'm gonna have a nice 10 hour nap now, at least I hope so. So I guess I'll see you guys again in Atlanta. Uh, yeah, we landed in Atlanta. That was a 10 hour drive, a uh, fly. <laughs> I have to say it was quite boring for me, but I think Manny and Gabriel had fun because they were sitting together, these assholes. <laughs> But yeah, we got our rental car. I'm a bit tired already, but we have to drive four more hours. This is our rental car to South Carolina. So is riesig da drin, oder? Wahnsinn, oder? Für mich wie mein Bus. Oh, so yeah, welcome to the US of Malaysia. Hey. First things first, let's go find something to eat. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. We need some good old American food for our American car and our American trip. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. The, the super, super lawyer. lawyer. <laughs> I am super lawyer. <laughs> Come and get some. We were just on the plane for 10 hours and now we have to drive 500 kilometers. <laughs> I did not fully think that through. I honestly thought it's going to be like 200 kilometers maximum. I did not think it's going to be 500 kilometers that we have to drive now. Well, it's nice. Oh, it's oh, Yeah, I got a hot dog because I really don't trust this pizza. I'm highly lactose intolerant, which means no pizza for me. So hot dog it is. Yeah. So pretty much 11 p.m. right now, which means we have been on the way for roughly 24 hours. We arrived to Charleston. And what was the first thing that happened when we came here? Uh, so we arrived here and our phones started to go absolutely crazy. And that is because... <laughs> <laughs> Supposedly we experience, or like Charleston area experiences a uh, catastrophic storm warning and flood warning. It's going to be pretty interesting. My M5 already has no front window, so we'll see how far we will get with the M5, I guess. Intake. And an open intake. But for now, uh, gonna get some much needed sleep and then we're gonna wake up tomorrow, drive to Sean, see how far the M5 is. But first things first, zwischen Schlafen und Sean. Waffelhaus in the früh. Im Sturm. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello and welcome back. Uh, it's a second day of a journey now, so it's Monday today. And we have some amazing news for you. But I'm gonna wait until Mani and Gabriel are here. And then we're gonna tell you guys. We always have the worst of luck possible. I can't believe, I can't even say it. It's <laughs> 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 Oder? So, what is the amazing news that we have for everybody? That we are just in the cabin. So, there is a huge hurricane coming straight towards Charleston. And yeah, we plan to stay here until Friday to fix the M5. And the hurricane is supposed to make 
landfall here in Charleston on Thursday. So it's gonna. Otto told us yesterday. Yeah, Gabby only gets to the to the coast. coast. Yeah, right here, <laughs> next to the coast. So uh, Monday and Tuesday, it's expected to be a lot of rain. So much rain even that there's a very high risk of flooding in the whole area. Yeah, well, the most shitty part about the hurricane is the flooding. And that's expected to happen today and tomorrow. And then Wednesday, it's only gonna be rain and Thursday, the hurricane is gonna come. So <laughs> we have a very exciting days ahead of us. Yeah. And also next to it, we have to fix the M5. So we're gonna drive, get some breakfast now yes. uh, at our favorite breakfast restaurant. And then we're gonna head over to Sean. Hey, I think the Explorer reißt uns aus the hurricane. Aber du könntest sonst eigentlich ein paar Metalldinger auf die Scheiben drauf schweißen, dann können wir die Storm Chasers werden. We just stopped at the gas station to get some uh, drinks for Sean and some other stuff. And I think I have found the truck equivalent to my M5. Also, <laughs> I can't believe that this is driving on the road. Welcome to America, I guess. Gonna get something to drink and then we, we're on the way to Sean now. Yeah, so we are back where everything started off with my M5. If you remember, here it fell off the forklift and in here we're gonna fix it again. We're at European Racing here in South Carolina, in Charleston. Sean is already inside. He did some previous work to the M5. We're gonna have to go in and talk to him to understand what he did and what our job is gonna be today. Because I really wanna get this M5 running. This car has been basically with us for such a long time i can't even describe it last time we've been here for like 10 days huh 10 days of 10 days of working on the car and the car is not running still this time we have five days to get everything done roof and mechanically get the car to run and i hope it's going to be enough because i really don't want to spend more time working on the shitty m5 this car has been such a pain in the ass because every time you fix something, something new comes up. This is going to be my donor car. We are going to take all the parts of this BMW, the roof line and the doors for the driver's side and put it on my car. This car was sponsored to me by Sean's dad, Carl. So shout out to Carl. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, we have to get the car running first and then we can worry about those things because if the car is not running anyway, we don't really have to make it beautiful. But yeah, let's go inside, let's talk to Sean. Let's figure out what the plan is. We're gonna see how far we can get before the hurricane reaches Charleston. Hey, what's up? Man? What's up? How are you? Nice. What's up, man? <laughs> You're the man of the video. Oh, it's looking way better than the last time we've been here. Yeah. Looks beautiful. Yeah. So, how motivated are you for our project? I'm super motivated. Yeah. Oh, you you removed the windscreen. Yep. Thank you. It's gonna and be I did the the back glass. Ah. What you say? You need some goggles to drive it. <laughs> I'm gonna cut the roof off, the skin off, yeah, and replace this front piece. Oh, uh -huh. this, and you lift the you lift the A pillar that because I can fix all this. Okay. Ah, that makes more sense. And it makes a whole lot more sense. It'll make it a lot less intrusive, a lot less structural stuff. Yeah. yeah. And since we're already doing a roof replacement. And you know what? Less work is less money. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so here's the plan. The car looks exactly like we left it a few months ago. The engine is still not running. We need to get that fixed today. And then we're gonna drive it for the first time ever since everything happened. We kind of need to figure out what to do with the windows because it's supposed to rain really heavily today. So we're gonna have to figure out a way to do that. Let's find Sean and ask him what he says. Sean, we a... need your input. Expert. We need to know what you did. My input? <laughs> just, just tell us what you did in the meantime while we were not here. I put the car up in the air, degreased the bottom side of it and everything really good because it kind of had oil just all over the place. I found that the seals for the Vanos units on the side of the oil pan were leaking and obviously being underneath the car with the wind blowing from you and I driving it a while back, it just kind of shot oil all over the place. So degreased it, confirmed that, got those seals, replaced the other three remaining Vanos solenoids, which like you guys said was horrible. It was not fun at all. To yeah, do. it's um, pain in the ass to do the so Vanos. I had to sacrifice a tool of my brother's. I cut it up and made it work. And then at that point, yeah, I went through the whole procedure, blood the Vanos system and everything. Mm -hmm. I actually was able to drive the car up and down the road and it did pretty good. After the third test drive, I think it was, I started getting complete bank one misfires again, even though the car would, would run smooth. Mm -hmm. It was visually, you know, audibly running smooth. 
but it would throw a one through five misfire. That was the injectors that we put that whole bank. The V8 in injectors. So yeah. at that point, yeah. I got a whole set. Because the, remember the whole the whole thing from back then was the injectors you can't buy new anymore. Yeah, it's a um, pain in the to get those injectors. That's so, all. Yeah. So I ordered. Uh, I got a full set of used injectors. We don't need to do all ten of them obviously, but oh. at least we have backups. You know? okay. we'll, we'll replace the ones that have the V8 injectors in it now just to get that done, and yeah. we have extras in case everything whatever, goes wrong. You know? On the bank number one, we have all the injectors of a V8 M3. You see the blue, <laughs> that's... Yeah, oh, so that's V8 injectors. Mm -hmm. And they are a bit smaller than the V10 injectors, so that's the issue that we're having right now, which is hopefully yes. going to be the last issue of this engine. Okay, replace the V8 injectors for V10 injectors. Hopefully the car is running. Then we take it for a quick little test drive and then we have a running M5 again. Yeah. Inject this. Let's go. I still kind of know without opening my eyes how to get it off the car. I think the last time Mani and me, we took it off like seven or eight times because we had so many different error codes. <laughs> so we have to take it off a 10th time today. And we also cleaned the inside of the car a little bit, but it still needs a proper detail, I think. It was. Hey there. I speak Yeah. I speak Es kommt alles griechisch vor. <lacht> das ist ja gar nicht richtig drauf. Was ist das? Ja, das sind verwurzelt komplett. Hä? Die sind verwurzelt komplett, die Gummischläuche. Zu Dachsenleuch. Ja. ja, wirklich, ja. Das war noch, die waren aber vorhin schon kaputt. Und die sind nicht besser geworden. <lacht> Nein, besser ist nicht geworden. So, the worst part is already done, which is taking the intake off. Now we only have to replace the oh, few no, five sensors. Oh, the worst part is going to be putting it back on. Putting it back on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so these are the V8 injectors. And once we get them off, I can show you kind of the difference. So just to compare it, these are the old ones, blue ones from the V8 M3. And they have three holes in the bottom. And these are the new ones and they have four holes in the bottom. The V8s actually have more fuel coming through them than the V10s. That's why we had the issue with the engine. This is a part with the turning part. <laughs> so I hope with this every problem we have with the M5 is gonna get fixed and we can finally drive it. Hey! Mega schön. Mega schön gemacht. Danke dir. Theoretically, we have changed everything in this car. We changed the engine, we changed injectors, we changed the van of solenoids last time, we changed one and the other three Sean changed. Yeah. So we have one new van of solenoids, we have new injectors, we have new sensors in the engine, we have... Boy, it feels honestly kind of surreal right now to be back in this workshop. <laughs> We already left so much sweat and so many tears and so much blood and the car coming back together once again. Last few steps. Engine is pretty much complete again. We kind of do need to figure out how to make this car waterproof now because it's raining outside already. And I don't really want the whole interior to get wet. I think we have to improvise a little bit. We're gonna figure it out. Are you happy that we're back? No. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you guys. So the engine is at least put back together. Uh, we don't really know if it's running properly because we need to drive to test it out. And as you can imagine... <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, there is shift so to us. <laughs> yeah, so we kind of need to figure out a way how to get the car to be waterproof so we can test it. And our idea is to basically get some plexiglass window from Walmart and cut it to size so that at least no water comes inside the car because otherwise my car would be very moldy and I already have one moldy car with Helmut back at home I don't need the M5 to be moldy as well so we're gonna drive to Walmart see what we can find and then hopefully we can test the car because the rain is not supposed to stop for the next five days which is perfect I guess Also, we are already there, as we were three months ago. Are you already there? Oh, we have to do service. Yeah, service the roof. <laughs> Did I just read something with Vanos? You might have. The pulley is making some noise. Yeah. You hear it rattling? Yeah. Is it bad? The pulley? Yeah. No, it's good. That's when it makes noise like that. It means ah. it's really good. <laughs> do we need to change it? Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. So we have one weird noise coming from the engine, which we don't really know what it is. 
Sean says it's the bully. Mani does not think it's a bully. So because the bully have always the it's the bearing, the bearing of the bully. Sean says, I don't know. Okay. How confident are you that it's a bully? Pretty confident, why? The bully or the bully tension? No, the pulley itself. The, the bearing inside the pulley is, is I see you can spray grease in there and the noise goes which, away. Which pulley from the top one I think? Because it sounds a little bit <laughs> what the, the, what, the noise, the noise is very <laughs> it's making money very sense. worried <laughs> do we have any fault codes replace no, roof like replace it's, pulley it sounds like it's from the from the vanus what does the fault code say vanus <laughs> 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 well, it's, it's interesting this is, the, this is the first time we've ever seen this code it's like as usual we fix one thing and 10 other things pop up i love no, this, this car just one thing. i love this car so we might not be 100 done yet Good thing that we put everything back together in the engine and put the hood back on. <laughs> Maximum limit position. I'm, uh, I'm texting the uh, engine builder now. The engineer behind BMW. <laughs> yeah. I hope Gabby uh, runs over the M5 and takes it with <laughs> The <hurricane>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I gotta, I'm gonna go get my clothes. I gotta go ready to go to court because I'm a bad little boy. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what you did. <laughs> no, tell them uh, I was doing some significant drifting. I was doing the coolest thing in the world. In the co I'm just kidding, I ran a red light. <laughs> All right, while Sean goes to court, we are going to go to Walmart to buy some stuff for the M5 to make it rainproof. Yeah, this is a hexagon. Es ist so schief, Alter. <lacht> Sollen wir da was zum Ans Ansprechen ankaufen? Da gibt es ja diese... Schuhcreme. Ja, holen wir, uns, holen wir beim Walmart Plexiglasscheiben und Schuhcreme. Welcome to Walmart Paradise of USA. <lacht> was ist das heute noch? Es passiert nicht noch. Ich soll da in Kuh ist der Schafe hin und rum. Aber... Okay, yeah, we may not have found a window, but we found some shoe polish to make a car black again. So let's go to a hardware store and look for the windows, I guess. Yeah, still on the hunt for a window for the M5. Walmart kind of disappointed us. I hope Lowe's is going to have our back. I don't think I've ever seen such a huge hardware store in my entire life. Say hey. Oh, I'm too far away. Das nehmen wir. 280 kostet die Scheiben. Ja, nutze nichts. So viel kostet die echte Scheiben. Das kostet viel echte. Yeah, so at least we have uh, some windows now for the M5. They were a bit more expensive than expected, but at least they also keep us dry from the rain. Mission complete. Du huckst wie ein Hund da hinten. Du weißt so was ich Aber wenn Charlie mit. Er liegt einfach drunter. Genial. So, everything where it needs to be. Now we only need to cut out the window and then put it here. Very simple. Okay, so before we do the window, Sean noticed that the car is leaking coolant. So we need to figure out where the coolant leak is from. Because coolant leak is never good, I guess. You can see it over there. Okay, so one screw was not completely tight on the engine, so we kept losing engine oil. Gabriel is fixing that right now, I think. Put on it. <laughs> but uh, that's a quick fix. Steering rack is also leaking quite a lot. We can't fix it right now, it's really bad. And coolant is leaking somewhere up here. These hoses. Oh, uh, this one was loose. Yeah, baby. Here's the update. We found the coolant leak. Okay, but maybe found the coolant leak. It's a cracked O-ring in the radiator. And we also found out that maybe my gearbox is leaking some oil. We're checking that right now. We sprayed it down now with a brake cleaner to see what happens. It's a bit annoying. And this is, by the way, from when it fell off the forklift on both sides. This is the new exhaust system. Is, by the way, Gabriel welded me this exhaust back in oh, LA. Back there. Back there. But it's not pretty showable because it's... Uh, I only show this side. Because it was drunk. This side is awesome. Oh. <laughs> Da ist auch alles zu. Also da, da ist der Hohen drauf gewesen, oder? <lacht> okay, so we have a new O-ring installed now. Yeah, we need to push the hose back in properly to see if everything's fixed and no cooler is leaking anymore. This screw was loose, so we were losing some oil here. And this is also connected to the Vanos. So maybe, if we're lucky, the Vanos issue that we had earlier today might actually be connected to this screw being loose, which we just tightened now. Let's all cross our fingers. We're gonna try to get the coolant stuff fixed 
and then we're gonna turn on the car again and maybe if we're lucky the Venus issue is also gone which would be amazing this car is costing me every nerve possible I thought this time it's gonna be easier but it turns out it's never easy if you're on BMW so the we had no no oil in the steering pump that's why it was making this nasus and uh, yeah apart from that I hope that the cooling leak is fixed we're gonna find it out now with a nice little gauge and uh, we're gonna see what happens yeah so it turns out we did not fix the coolant leak because it's still leaking don't really know why and where it's coming from though we found out the leak is coming from the sensor yeah exactly i was just say that it's coming down yeah <laughs> the problem is the sensor is glued in it's supposed to be or it's glued in is somebody glued it in or because somebody glued it in somebody glued it not oh, us okay. though but okay, somebody glued it in there wow but yeah that's where the leak is coming from yeah. sensor in the hose here yeah so we need to find the hose like that right the hose, yeah. yeah. So we know where the coolant leak is coming from. We can't fix it today, so we're just gonna say f it and leave it like that and just refill the coolant every like 10 minutes or whatever. Sean wants to hook up the car to his PC still because of the Vanos, and we're gonna handle the windscreen in the meantime so that at least maybe with much luck we can at least drive a little bit today. Looking pretty good actually. If you look at it from far away, you wouldn't even recognize. <laughs> what are you saying? It's good. I guess, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> it's a track spec. I got lightweight yeah, windows, yeah, but only the front and the rear. <laughs> mm -hmm. The rear window looks very promising. The only important part is that no water is coming inside, which I think, I hope we did a good job. Yo, ready? Uh, ready yeah. Stormtroopers. <laughs> Ready to chase some hurricanes, I guess. That's awesome. It's pretty cool, huh? That's great. Chef, do you want to write? Do you want to write? Do you want to write? Your signature too? Me too. Yeah, yeah, of course. One of us. What happened to your PC? Oh, much like the M5 on the forklift, it <laughs> took a shit. So. He literally hooked it up to the M5 and the PC just disintegrated. So yeah. we are well, not. Got no idea. I mean, there's. You know, he asked me if it was the car. You've got no way to prove that the car did anything. But I kind of feel it was the car, it, to be honest. As soon as you hook it up, I was on my home, my desktop home screen, and I, I hook up, you know, my ISTA connection there to the UVD, and then that's when it just the screen went black. I rebooted it, and it will not let me log back in. So we are now waiting for the program to download on a new PC, and in the meantime, we're going to take a shower. Not together. You said together. You, you want to? Yeah. yeah. Kind of, yeah. a bit, you know. Yeah, we are back. Just had some really nice dinner. Uh, by the way, small, small hurricane update. Today has been pretty mild, luckily, but the worst is yet to come. Still raining outside, raining pretty heavily from time to time. Many streets are already flooded, which is very fun to drive with the rental car. Good thing I have my jacket with me. Keeps all the rain away. And it keeps me nice, warm and comfy, even in the worst of hurricanes. He Debbie was in the middle of the hurricane, yeah, and look and at him. Completely dry. <laughs> he, completely was, dry. he was like this. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? You can hear that the right exhaust, so bank number one, I think it is. So this one here is running way worse than the other side and we're trying to figure out what the reason for that is right now Sean has his PC hooked up to the car this car, uh, I can't even describe it it's like 11pm right now it was supposed to be a minor fix today and then the car was supposed to run but yeah, as you can see, it is obviously not doing that but yeah, let's see if we can find something so Sean's idea is he's gonna basically reset all the adaptations of my car and basically set the car back to factory and then we're gonna let it idle. It's gonna probably run like shit in the beginning, but it should learn everything again from new. And then maybe if we are lucky, it will kind of solve the issue by itself. Honestly, none of us thinks it really is the Vanna solenoid because we have four brand new solenoids in the car installed. We have new injectors, new sensors, spark plugs, everything in the car is new. Yeah, let's see. Car is running kind of good, I guess. Sean is satisfied with it, which means we are satisfied with it. Computer is not 100% satisfied yet, but we'll get to that point eventually. 
Well, like so, we said in one of the other clips, one of the Vanos, one of the four Vanos solenoids is not happy. It's yeah. operating, it's doing what it needs to do, but it's just slightly out of spec. It's not even running poorly enough to trigger a fault code in the DME. So that's how minor it is. But yeah, you know, we're gonna we're gonna put a new solenoid in it. We have one on the way, but at least it's uh, it appears to be running good enough to be able to do some stupid shit. But the so. good thing is for our viewers that the silhouette is coming in a few minutes. The silhouette? Solenoid. Oh, the solenoid. Yeah. Oh yeah, we that's right. It. We wait. That's no, gotta be a transition. No, 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 no. The thing is, we're not gonna install it right now. So the main idea is we go to sleep because we are still a bit jet lagged, and uh, now it's. 12 p.m. 12 a.m. Uh, and tomorrow in the morning we're gonna come back and we're gonna finally take the car hopefully for the first test drive with the new engine with the new inventory intake and everything we're gonna also replace the solenoid and then the engine should be 100% good again hopefully so I see you guys tomorrow in the morning yeah welcome back day number three here in South Carolina on the mission to fix my M5 the hurricane is still kind of in effect because it has not even arrived yet it's set to arrive on thursday so in two days it has been raining ever since we came here which means that many parts of the city have been flooded already pretty nice weather i thought it's gonna be a bit more sunny when i booked my trip to america but whatever picking up Marnie and gabriel now so they don't get wet because i am a nice boss <laughs> then we're gonna drive over to sean and hopefully we can finally take the m5 for its first little cruise and test out how the windows and everything else is gonna hold up. Uh, we got a tornado warning yesterday in the evening. I did not really see a tornado, but that's probably because it was dark, but that was insane to be honest. <laughs> I never thought I would be in a position to kind of have to be scared of a tornado, but yeah, here we are. Yeah, you can see many parts of the street have been flooded already pretty heavily, but it's not as bad as I honestly thought it's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, so they closed off parts of the roads already because it's. Oh yeah, I think this mega food there. This is gonna be a very interesting first test ride for my M5 today, I guess. <laughs> and this is only day two of like four or five days of hurricane here in Charleston. So this is gonna be a very interesting week, I guess. Just fueling up the car before we go to Sean's workshop. I have to say, I feel pretty safe. We have a good rental car, it's pretty huge. So this is a good thing. The more we drive, the more closed roads we see, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, you can see the water levels. They are rising pretty high. Sean also told us that a tornado touched down near his house tonight. It went through a Walmart actually, and through an Arby's workshop, and completely obliterated both houses, and also flipped some cars on the roof. What a crazy adventure so far, uh, and the car has not even started yet. Normally it only gets crazy once I drive something, but this time I don't even have to do anything. I just really hope it doesn't get much worse than it is right now. But yeah, so far everything's operating normally. We've just been to Waffle House again for some quick breakfast. They are actually switching to the hurricane menu, which I don't really know what that is, but <laughs> very interesting that they have something like this. See you guys at Sean's place. Welcome back to the workshop. We are currently installing windscreen wipers because we think we might actually need them. It started to rain pretty, pretty heavily. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be pretty interesting to see how the windscreen and everything is working. We sprayed it with Windex, or actually Carl sprayed it with Windex, which I hope it's gonna kind of like solve the rain issues um, because I don't really think the wipers are gonna work because we have a pretty big gap. But yeah, I think it's better to have them anyway, just in case. Mr. Tornado Man also arrived. Mr. Tornado Man. I'm here. Yeah, it's all right. He's alive. Maple's also alive. How far do we think we get today? Probably, Until we probably either... by the door. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of ready to go. It's gonna be quite interesting.
That's just so f***ing loud. It literally hurts your ears when she revs it. But I guess that means we're back in business and ready to chase some f***ing hurricanes. Bro. Oh. So, uh, should I get some new one? <laughs> I, I have no idea like how fast it's losing it. No, we're still good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for your service. <laughs> How's the windscreen? Really good, actually. The, <laughs> the back not so good, but the front's not bad. So I'm wondering, should we plan if it uh, fails? Breaks? Should we bring a trailer? Should we? I mean, like, what? You know? Let it break. Okay. You want to send it? Yeah, let's go. It's gonna be quite interesting, I guess. Ah, <laughs> it's only the power steering fluid, I think. Also vorne ist bis jetzt dicht. Und hinten bin ich mir nicht ganz sicher, muss ich sagen. Schaut gut aus. Klingelt oder das direkt ins Auto reinregnen. Aber bis jetzt, Power Steering funktioniert. Scheiße, ich wüsste gar nicht so schlecht. We spent so much blood, sweat and tears to build this car, to build it back to where I bought it, <laughs> so to fix my mistakes. And now the car is finally running again. I'm a bit worried about the water leaking in Amani's side. Because I don't want the car to be moldy. Yeah, I don't know, there's not much to say. I have not driven this car properly on the road, so this is my first car driving it on the road, not in the desert. I honestly thought it's going to be a bit different with less rain and more mirrors and less... I don't know. But it's something, I guess. Yeah. Aber klingelt und absurd. Also, ich finde das sogar geiler mit der Plastikheckscheibe, weil da ist richtig laut. to fill up the oil. <laughs> I don't know why it's leaking oil. The only leak that I remember was the one from the Vanos thing on the bottom, which y'all said y'all straightened up yesterday. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let's put, a, put another cord in it and... Uh, See what's well, going on. Yeah. But yeah, so far everything's all right. Uh, window has been holding up great, honestly. We have a small leak on Mani's side, <laughs> but apart from that... I'm actually surprised that we made it here, to be honest. It looks stupid, but it sounds amazing inside without the rear window. This is my favorite flavor. <laughs> the blue 1040, the mysterious. What a wonderful day. I'd say. Fortunately, we don't have a dipstick. Amazing. German, find it. Filled up some oil, steering fluid as well. Filled up some fuel. Should be ready to go again. Drove like 20 miles, I think. We made it to Sean's secret testing facility, which is gonna be a good time I guess. Sean is checking the oil again on the car really quick and then I think we're gonna have some good old-fashioned fun. First maiden voyage of the new engine. I have never drifted this car on asphalt before. You only saw me kind of go sideways on the dunes so I'm honestly a bit excited to see how it turns out. We should be fine. It should work definitely. It's raining as well which is always a good sign. All right we're ready to go. I have to say I'm a bit nervous now. We had to do a lot of stuff to get to the point where we are right now. Kind of hope it's gonna be worth it.
das Auto. Ich habe Motorcheck. Aber ich bin wegen einem Anus sein, schätze ich mal. Stange rausgegangen. Und der Motor ist ausgegangen. Also wir sind. Aber es ist sogar ein Trick, oder? Ja, das ist der dritte Knopf. But the car is running now, it's good. I did a 360, I did some donuts around Pani. Ah nein, er limitet auch die Leiste. Wir haben eine Schallstange verloren bei der 360. And also the car turned itself off. Es ist kurz mit dem Motorcheck raus, wenn man es wieder rauskommen. Remember the shit that we dealt with way back when, you know? Yeah, yeah. With all the sliding, it's I'm wondering if all the fuel got sloshed to one side of the tank or something. And it, yeah, and it feel, yeah. If we if we had brake cleaner, we could spray it in and see if it if it starts, you know. We are currently waiting for the car to cool down a little bit. Uh, we think it might be the fuel level because all the fuel flipped to one side when it was 60. Around, it took all throttle from me. It was like, nope, we're not doing this. Should we go get some fuel? I think so. So yeah. just leave the car here because yeah. nobody can take it anyway. Yeah, exactly. Should we take the key with me at least? Yeah. Okay, we don't really know what the issue is, so we're gonna drive back to the shop. Car is getting picked up by a towing company. Gable is going to wait for the tow truck in the meantime and catch all the rain with his little structure. So thank you very much. Shout out to Gabriel. He's a real one for that. We're going to drive back home and then back to Sean's shop and then figure out what the issue is. Uh, I guess you're going to see that in the next part. The thing I'm most worried about is getting all the water getting inside the car now because we built the car to be driven where not a lot of water comes inside. We didn't build it to be sitting outside and it's raining fairly okay now but it's getting even worse and worse every minute so we're gonna hope that the tow company comes pretty soon i guess i'll see you guys in the next part of this amazing storm chaser series with my m5 i hope you enjoyed it i at least had fun sliding the car a little bit see you guys